It was one of the ancient world's largest and most powerful empires. It is remembered as an empire of might and power with no equal. During its peak in the year 117 C, the Roman Empire extended over 2.3 million square miles across three continents, Africa, Asia, and Europe. It is believed that approximately 60 million people inhabited the empire. Once an invincible powerhouse of power and glory, the mighty Roman Empire was now on the brink of destruction. As the sun set on an era of unparalleled dominance, shadows of betrayal, internal conflicts, and external invasions converged to cast a dark cloud over the once proud city of Rome. Get ready for an exciting journey through the pages of history as we uncover the turbulent story of how the Eternal City, with its magnificent legions and splendor, succumbed to the unstoppable march of time and the unrelenting forces that conspired to bring about its spectacular downfall. The downfall of the Roman Empire was not sudden, but a gradual decline marked by significant events that weakened its foundations. The crisis of the third century, the division of the empire, and the arrival of barbarian tribes all contributed to the erosion of Rome's power. To many historians, the fall of the Western Roman Empire in the fifth century CE has long been viewed as the end of the ancient world and the onset of the Middle Ages. This period is often improperly called the Dark Ages. In 476 CE, Emperor Romulus was ousted from power by Odoacer. This event marked the official end of the Western Roman Empire's military, political, and financial authority. The Western Empire no longer had any control over its Western territories, which were now governed by invading barbarians. Despite the Western Empire's lasting cultural heritage, it never regained its power and could not recover. The instability of its political structure was one of the primary factors that led to the decline of the Roman Empire. As the empire grew larger, it became increasingly more work to maintain effective governance. There were constant power struggles and frequent assassinations that contributed to a climate of uncertainty. Emperors would often rise and fall through violent means, leading to a lack of stability and consistent leadership. The weakening of the Senate's influence and the rise of autocratic rule further eroded the empire's political foundations. Corruption and ineffective leadership eroded the central government's authority, further contributing to instability. After Emperor Trajan died in 117 AD, Mesopotamia was lost to the Parthians of ancient Iran within a few decades. Consequently, the Romans were never able to regain control of Mesopotamia again. In Europe, the empire found it too expensive to defend the long border through heavily wooded Germania, which led to the concession of land to German tribes. As a result, the Romans pulled back to the Rhone and Danube rivers. From 235 to 284 CE, known as the crisis of the third century, was a significant time in Roman history. It was characterized by a series of unprecedented challenges and upheavals that had a profound impact on the Roman Empire. The crisis was marked by political instability, military conflicts, economic crisis, and, and external invasions that shook the foundations of the empire. During the crisis of the third century, the structure of the Roman military underwent a breakdown from its traditional form. The once disciplined and effective legions became fragmented, leading to internal rivalries. This led to various military commanders, known as soldier emperors, competing for control and leading their troops against one another. This internal strife weakened the central authority and made the empire vulnerable to external threats. Several different individuals governed the Roman Empire in Britain. Consequently, political instability was almost inevitable in Roman Britain. The Roman rule in Britain lasted for over 400 years, and it had many leaders during different periods, each of whom established their own set of rules for how Roman Britain was to be governed. This caused some confusion and chaos, as no one liked the policies and regulations of a previous ruler. This created a sense of uncertainty and mistrust among the people of Roman Britain and the leaders of different regions and tribes that made up the Roman Empire. This led to the formation of factions, which set the stage for the decline of the Roman Empire in Britain. Rome faced a financial crisis due to its excessive spending on military campaigns, public works, and luxury goods. This overspending resulted in a rise in taxation, which harmed the industry. This, in turn, led to a decline in Rome's economy. As the empire continued to expand, 
it became increasingly reliant on a steady supply of slaves and spoils of war. However, this reliance became unsustainable, leading to a labor shortage and further economic decline. The financial crisis and overspending weakened the Roman economy. It made it difficult for the empire to maintain its vast territory and protect its borders, leaving it vulnerable to external threats. The collapse of Western Rome is often attributed to a series of military defeats against opposing forces. Although Rome had dealt with Germanic tribes for a long time, by the 300s, barbarian groups such as the Goths had crossed the empire's borders. The Romans faced a Germanic uprising in the late 4th century. However, in 410, the Visigoth king, Alaric, successfully raided the city of Rome. Following this, the empire remained under constant threat for several decades, with Rome being raided again in 455, this time by the Vandals. Finally, in 476, the Germanic leader Odoacer staged a revolt and deposed Emperor Romulus Augustulus. From then on, no Roman emperor would ever again rule from a post in Italy, leading many to cite 476 as the year the Western Empire suffered its death blow. During its decline, the Roman Empire faced various economic issues, such as inflation, debasement of currency, and stagnation. The increased tax burdens and the decline in agricultural productivity also led to food shortages. The lower classes were discontented, and several slave revolts, including the famous Spartacus Uprising. The influence of diverse cultures eroded the empire's traditional Roman values, leading to a sense of cultural decline and a loss of identity. During its peak, the Roman Empire extended from the Atlantic Ocean to the Euphrates River in the Middle East. However, its vast size made it difficult to govern, resulting in administrative and logistical challenges. Despite their well-constructed road systems, the Romans could not communicate efficiently enough to manage their vast holdings. Rome needed help gathering enough resources and troops to defend its borders from external and internal threats. By the second century, Emperor Hadrian had to construct the renowned wall in Britain to keep the enemy at bay. As more and more resources were directed toward the military, Rome's technological advancement slowed and its civil infrastructure deteriorated. Internal conflicts and economic poverty were the primary issues that plagued the Western Roman Empire. The Eastern Empire, on the other hand, could avoid or contain such conflicts and did not face economic poverty. Despite these challenges, the Roman army remained strong and effective until the end. It is important to note that the barbarian invasions were not the leading cause of the empire's collapse, but rather a result of more profound systemic weaknesses within the empire. The spread of Christianity coincided with the decline of Rome, leading some to argue that the new religion contributed to the empire's fall. In conclusion, the decline and fall of the Roman Empire were caused by various factors, including political instability, economic challenges, external invasions, and cultural transformations. This is our story about the collapse of the mighty Roman Empire. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.